If water contains high amounts of calcium and magnesium ions, it's considered to be hard water. Some other metal ions, such as those of aluminum, barium, iron, manganese, strontium and zinc, also contribute to the hardness of water. These ions are found in water in the form of carbonates, bicarbonates, sulfates and chlorides. Another way to tell if water is hard is if it doesn't form lather well. This failure to lather is due to the reaction between calcium and magnesium ions and soap molecules. The resulting molecules are insoluble in water and remain at the surface. Less soap molecules means less lather. When rain falls to earth, it percolates underground. During this process, if rainwater comes across deposits of limestone, chalk or gypsum, which are made up largely of calcium and magnesium compounds, these metal compounds pass into the water, causing it to become hard. Hard water is generally not a health risk, but it is a nuisance. When hard water is heated, a certain amount of water evaporates, causing the minerals suspended in it to precipitate. These residues can then accumulate inside pipes, water heaters, washing machines and dishwashers. The result is reduced water flow or blockages, stress on pipes and fixtures, spots on glasses and dishes cleaned in a dishwasher and less effective clothes washing due to a lack of suds. According to the World Health Organization, water containing calcium carbonate at concentrations below 60 mg per litre is generally considered to be soft. 60 to 120 mg per litre is moderately hard, 120 to 180 mg per litre is hard, and water with more than 180 mg per litre of calcium carbonate is very hard. Water hardness caused by the presence of just calcium and magnesium carbonates and bicarbonates is called temporary hardness and can be removed by boiling the water and then filtering it. On the other hand, if water hardness is due to the presence of calcium and magnesium sulfates and chlorides, it's known as permanent hardness and can't be eliminated by boiling. Removing permanent hardness requires special chemical methods, such as soda treatment, Calgan's method, ion exchange, or the resin method. <laughs>